Hey Gabbies, how are you guys doing? Thank you guys for tuning in uh, to Real Life Tarot with Renee. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to Real Life Tarot, welcome. Cross watchers, welcome. You are welcome here. Gabbies, I know it's been like a little minute. I wanted to clear your energies, booze. Right? I hope you guys had an amazing weekend this past weekend. That I give you guys the midweek reading to see what's going on in your energies. You guys, my motto is, if it doesn't fit, you must have quit. So only take what resonates and leave the rest. You guys, make sure to hit the like, share, and subscribe button so that this video can uh, circulate to other Capricorns out there who is looking to receive this message. All right, Cappies, you ready? Okay, let's get into your reading. Spirit is ready to gossip. So let's see what the current energy in love for my Capricorns is. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, before I flip these cards, please give me honest messages for the sign of Capricorn. Right? What's the current message? I mean, energy um, that my Capricorns is in since we got cow out, right? Let's see somebody want to flip the little hair on Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Hold on. Let me just want the camera just like this. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Hold on, Cappies. Give me one more spirit. Give me one mess one more messages from the uh, romance oracle deck. Ooh, we got wedding. Let's see. You deserve love, Capricorns. Yes, you are lovable. Don't ever think that you aren't attraction, right? Yeah, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. That's what's popping, Tim. Yeah, and healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents, right? So that's telling me some of you guys. Yeah, and look, and then you have the wedding. Yeah, uh, the situation um, involves marriage, okay? For some of you guys, you probably are in the energy feeling like you don't deserve love or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But Spirit is saying you are lovable. Get out of that uh, mental block that you have, right? And you attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully, okay? So if you're with someone or you're dating or something like that, you know what I'm saying? Just enjoy the moment. You know what I'm saying? Just, just enjoy the moment. Like, you see how she's stopping to smell the roses? Yeah, live live in the moment. You know what I'm saying? Put your phones down for a second and um <laughs> stop recording everything. Okay, I know we all have a habit of doing that, but yeah. And whatever family issues that you haven't healed in the past, you know what I'm saying? Your love life will benefit once you forgive your parents. So whatever childhood traumas that you guys are carrying on, it's affecting some of you guys um, moving forward in marital bliss or your actual union that you could be in right now. So some of you guys are married and some of you guys will be getting married or um, in a committed relationship in the near future. Okay, so I'm just kind of set these up like this. Okay, so that's the overall uh romance energy okay so i wanted to pull those first just to kind of see you know what's going on behind the scenes okay either behind the scenes in front of the scenes on the side of the scenes but we're about to get into your reading cappies let's go okay let's get into some of your tarot i do have a new deck here um this is the gilded tarot deck let me make sure they're all in up right yeah Hold on, just one moment. Yeah, uh, this is a gilded uh, tarot deck. Okay, you can find this link in my description box below. Right? Let's see what's going on with your cappies. Okay. What's the overall energy for Capricorns and Love Spirit? Okay. Right. So divine spirit, holy spirit, please give me honest messages for Capricorns and love. That's the overall message. That's, thank you, spirit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, page of pentacles. Somebody wants to come in and make an offer. Oh, this page. This page, page, page. Mm -hmm. Somebody is wanting to bring in some type of good news. For some of you guys, this could be a, a notification that you got some money coming in. Yeah, four of cups. Somebody... With this page and this four of cups right behind it, okay? Mm, this is telling me that somebody is feeling possibly unfulfilled in this connection, okay? Which makes sense because um, you probably don't feel love, right? And you deserve love, okay? Right? You may not feel attractive in this situation, right? Okay? So this is just how I'm reading it, right? But let's see how it happens. Let's see what card falls out behind this. Give me more spirit. 
need more information for my Capricorns in love. What's going on with my Capricorns? Thank you, Spirit. Mm -hmm. Three of Wands. Mm, okay. Yeah. Somebody wants to collaborate and put some teamwork into a connection, right? Hmm. What could that be? Any more, Spirit? Thank you. Yeah, but so, oh, whatever teamwork that was is coming to an end. Mm hmm. So somebody's going to bring a message that they want to, they're not feeling fulfilled, right? And they're not fulfilled, they're not feeling fulfilled in this connection, right? They're not feeling like they're working like a team and they want to bring it to an end, huh? Maybe this marriage or this connection. Give me more, spirit. Give me more. Don't worry, I'm going to clarify. Mm -hmm. Give me one more spirit. Thank you. I'll take it. Mm -hmm. Seven of Wands. Okay. Yeah. So Seven of Wands is telling me somebody's been like feeling like they have to defend themselves against some type of um connection, right? Um, because maybe there's too many suitors, right? Which makes sense how the initial spread came out because you deserve love. So in this situation, it's telling me too, with the seven of wands falling out, right? At the end, somebody is fighting, feeling like they have to constantly fight off competition, right? And they're just ready to bring something to the end. Like they're tired of working on this. They're tired of working on this. You know what I'm saying? And they don't want to give their cup, right? They're tired. They feel unfulfilled. Period. Yeah, and this is the news that somebody wants to bring in. Somebody wants to tell you or you want to tell your person, Capricorn's ticket how it resonates, that this just ain't working out. It could be it could it could be a marriage, right? Because it says that this situation involves marriage. So for some of you guys, not the whole um Capricorn uh, you know, viewers, but some of for some of you guys who are in a marriage or whatever, there's some issues. This is like it says, the healing family issues, right? So some you know it could be from, you know, childhood uh, traumas or whatever, but the uh, family issues could be within this marriage as well, right? Because somebody don't feel like there's enough traction, attraction in this connection, which makes sense because it's like, well, damn, I'm fighting against a bunch of goddamn suitors. That's why. I don't want to be in a space where, you know what I'm saying? I'm, you know, we supposed to be working at a, as a team, but you know, you're working against me. I don't feel fulfilled. I don't feel like I'm getting anything that I'm putting into the connection. You see, with the three of wands being here. Mm -hmm. So somebody, you know, somebody um, is looking to like, yeah, get, get, the, get the freak on from this. Like, that's what it's telling me overall. But, you know, let me do some clarifying. <laughs> let me do some clarifying, y'all. Don't ever worry. I am going to go into the hood deck. So y'all just hold your little horses while I do this little uh <laughs> this little clarifying, okay? I'm clarifying um with the Hanson Robert uh tarot deck. Okay, you can find the link. Well, no, you cannot find the link to this in my description box below because um I got it from my local tarot um um store. <laughs> it's a little special deck. It's a it's like one of those little mini tiny decks, so it like fits in the palm of my hand like that. It's not the same. See, it's not the same size as these cards. I love these cards, though. You can kind of really take them anywhere and do a, pull them out and do a quick reading. Hold on. Let me just give you guys a good shuffle. Holy. Cappies, if this is your story, you this resonates with you, sign off in the comment field below. You know, here at Real Love Tarot, we real nosy. We want to know what's popping, too. <laughs> right? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, please uh, clarify the Page of Pentacles. What's going on? Mm -hmm. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Yes. So that's clearly telling me that somebody was being too greedy in the situation, right? Uh, could been, could have been, you could have been, um, yeah, going into some type of debt um, in this connection. Mm hmm. Yeah. Hold on. Let me see. Yeah. And somebody, the sun popped out in reverse. Yeah, for, yeah, exactly. With the four of cups, because in this case, the four of cups after coming from the page of pentacles is telling me that there was somebody was feeling unfulfilled, right? And the sun being in reverse, that's telling me that somebody is not feeling too hopeful in this connection, right? Like this, um, 
you know, like, you know, you or your person could be going through depression. I'm getting this could be your energy, uh, Capricorn, strongly, right? Yeah, temperance, right? Because something isn't working out, nobody is really working as a team, right? It is, you know, three, even though the three of wands is in the upright or whatever, but the way it's falling out behind the four of cups, it's telling me that there's no real teamwork going on here with the three of, uh, with the three of wands, right? So, you know, the three of wands is, it represents, um, teamwork, collaboration, you know what I'm saying? Expansion of travel or whatever, but that's not really happening. This connection with the sun coming out in the reverse, it has somebody actually in depression and not feeling hopeful about moving forward in this connection. So either you or your person is trying to bring balance and temper yourself, Sagittarian energy. Yeah. Leo energy on the board. Yep. Yep, that's what I'm getting. Hold on, let me make sure these are all in the... Yes, they are. So how they fall out, forward or reverse, that's the energy. Thank you, Spirit. Clarify death. Yeah, four of cups. Uh-huh. We got four of cups again. Yeah, death. Because some, look, look, how, look, how they, look how your person is looking. You see how she has her... Uh, yeah, she has her head down. They're not taking that cup. They're not taking that cup. They're ending it with the death card that fell out and clar clarifying the death. Yeah, they're bringing something to an end. Either you or your person, something's coming to an end. I'm taking it. This is your energy, Cappies. If this is your story, sound off. I really do want to hear. Yeah, clarify the seven of wands. What's all this competition and carrying on? Seven of rods. Yeah, seven of wands. Yeah, ooh, seven of wands on seven of wands. But baby, I can't even make it up seven of rods. Rods, you guys see the wands the same, right? You see how it's the wands here, the same wands. So in this deck, they say rods, but it's wands, yeah. So in this deck, yeah, this is double clarification. Yeah, that there's too much competition. So somebody is either have a third party situation going on or something like that, or they feel, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a third party, but it could be um, either you or your person is not invested or emotionally connected in this connection, right? Because of too many other uh, choices or whatever. Now, those choices could be work or other other things that's keeping your person like preoccupied in this connection. Yeah. And this Knight of Pentacles, right? Mm -hmm. This is who you could be dealing with. Um, the Knight of Pentacles is like a patient person. You know, they put in hard work. They're typically reliable. Um, but, you know, I don't know. Let's see. Give me more on the, um, that could be your energy or your person's energy. Give me more spirit. Okay, hold on, hold on. This seems like it wants to fall out too. Yeah, somebody's gained some type of new wisdom about this connection, right? Yeah, and then, yeah, seven of cups, too many options. Yes, somebody has had too many options in the past with the seven of cups. I can't even make it up. You see this? Yeah, this knight of pentacles was giving their pinnacles out to too many cups. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. This is what's going on. Yeah. Yeah, definitely third party or whatever. And some of you guys were in the hangman position, right? Understanding this connection for what it really is at this time, right? So with the hangman being in the hangman position, somebody's, you know, come to some type of new perspective. You know what I'm saying? Again, some type of different perspective. Like, you know what? This this just ain't for me because you out here throwing your seeds out to any any cup that uh that'll catch it, right? <laughs> this emperor. Yes. Mm hmm. This this emperor now, mind you, this emperor could have come into some newfound wisdom too. Let's see what the emperor about to do. Thank you, spirit. Mm hmm. Five of rods. Yeah, too much conflict in the seat. Thank you. Yep. The five of wands. Basically, five of rods is five of wands. Yeah. So basically, um, yeah, there's too many obstacles, obstacles, <laughs> obstacles and challenges in this connection. Yeah, because you got the seven of wands twice clarifying i can't even make this shit up yeah seven of wands twice now i mean who who wants to constantly fight over you know um competition it just don't make no sense right and then we got the seven of cups here yeah your person having too many choices commitment issues in this connection yeah which is making you feel unwanted Either you or your person, take it how it resonates, you know, sound off in the comment field. Let me know what your story is. Yeah, so that's why the Ace of Pentacles is in reverse. Nobody got time for this. Any more messages, Spirit? Thank you. 
Mm -hmm. What well, we need to know what's popping here. Yeah, three of pentacles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody's wanting to come in and... Um, somebody does want to come in and, and collaborate and do some teamwork. But yeah, I don't see it happening, to be honest. Yeah, give me more spirit. Yeah, and with this Knight of Cups. Yeah, I don't see it happening, though. Mm hmm Somebody is wanting a material. Well, well, this is how it's going on. This emperor is now, it's like having conflict about moving forward, right? To collaborate, to have this nine of, um, this nine of uh, cups energy, right? Because this is how the cards are falling. Now, this is the emperor, the, the five of rods, right? So your person is going through obstacles and challenges, right? Because they have commitment issues. Not the seven of cups is commitment issues. Too many. You know what I'm saying? Giving to too many people. Mm -hmm. Whether it's in a love connection or not. So don't you worry. Guess what we're about to do. We're going into the hood deck. Period dot. Because I'm nosy. And I want to see what the heck is going on behind the scenes. Right? <laughs> so, yes. It's hood deck time. Dun, 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 dun. So I'm just going to move these up like this. Some up. And I'll get back to these after these messages. We'll be right back. <laughs> Right. Yeah. So this emperor is having some type of like, you know, like little aha moment, never in the hangman position. Right. Gaining some newfound wisdom or whatever. Like, yeah, well, maybe I do want to go ahead. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, and work together with this person. But the obstacle is this. They have too many options. Right. You know what I'm saying? And being a knight of pentacles or whatever. Now, listen, y'all know the night is a moving, the slowest moving night on a god dang on board. And that's been the problem because they're slow moving because they're too busy wrapped up in all these damn cups. Give it to too many. Mm -hmm. Whether it's a third party connection or, you know, um, trying to satisfy multiple people at the same time. Mama, daddy, uncle, brother, best friend. You get what I'm saying? This side chick over here, this side dude over there. Like, y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Him or male or female, take it how it resonates. Same sex, don't matter. Yeah. This is what's going on, you guys. So let's see what the blue cards got to say. What's going on, Cappies? Wow, that's a lot going on. All right. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, please give me honest messages from the Hood Death Third Edition. <laughs> what's going on with my Capricorns in love? Yes, well, we know there's, yeah, dark black magic could be an issue in this connection. Child, a jealous karmic, yeah, that's caught up in this uh, Seven of Cups energy. Yeah, commitment issues, thank you. Spirit, uh-huh, that's what the Seven of Cups is. Your person had com commitment issues, unsure, lack mentality of player, but they got the nerve to be in love with you. They in love with you, but they don't want to change their player ways. See, this is what's going on, mm-hmm. This is what's going on. And it's making you feel unfulfilled. It's just like, why am I standing in this, co in this connection? You understand what I'm saying? With this four of cups, right? Because she looks sad as fuck. Him or her, they look sad as fuck. They're not even looking up at the cup. You see how they're looking down? They're not looking at that cup. Like somebody's like trying to offer you this one little cup, but it's just like, I don't know if I want it because I don't know. It don't, it don't feel real. It don't feel real. How does that feel real when you got all this, all this seven of cups shit going on over here? Yeah, no. Listen. Yeah, somebody's deciding if they want a happy home with you. The Ten of Cups. Ciao. If you or your person take it out of resonance, yeah, somebody's about to come. So this has caused you guys to not be in union for some of y'all, right? Yeah, being childish, you right? Immature behavior, yeah. Being uncommittal, right? Yeah, so, yeah, but they want to surprise you and come knock on your door, child. Within one month, initials L, first, middle, last, yours are theirs. And they, and, yeah, Spirit is saying they need to surrender to the divine. Wow. Yep. Yeah, and that makes sense because the hangman is here. Yeah, somebody's gained some type of new uh, wisdom, and now they want to sacrifice something. But whatever they're trying to sacrifice, it's an obstacle. And, it's all, and it could be their ego and pride. Listen. Let's see what spirit got to say. Yeah, one, you, you or your person, somebody's dealing with some karma too behind this. And this is childish, your damn soulmate. Y'all, spirit. What spirit saying right here? Yeah, Z, initial Z, first, middle, last, or is it there? Sorry, that fell out. Any more messages from the hood deck for Capricorns in love? 
What's going on? Yeah, sexual desires towards you. Yeah, they want to do this within the next 24 to 48 hours. Well, that's great, I guess. But what about us being in a committed relationship? Yeah, love spells or dark magic that somebody is under right now. Being manipulative, right? So somebody, so this emperor could have had you. This could be your energy or whatever, right? You could be the emperor. This your person. Take it all resonates, right? They are putting love love spells and dark spells on you or whatever, trying to manipulate the situation so that you could stay with them, right? And that makes sense too because like, you know, they had you like, and I'm going to tell you because some of y'all, this, y'all married to this. Y'all married to this soulmate already. Y'all married to this soulmate. You guys are already in a committed um, binding contracted relationship, right? And your, your person, either you or your person has put love spells or dark magic to keep you stuck while they figure out they, they're uh, non-committal ways, right? Manipulating the situation, being a trickster, controlling, playing games in this connection, lying and trying to hide the truth that they got all this extra going on in the background. Y'all, y'all, like a child by the emperor Paul out again. I can't even make this shit up. Yep. Then I say it's your emperor that's doing this. Could be you, could be your person. Take it out. Resonates. If this your story sound off, yes. Double emperor on the board. This is what's going down. But an apology is coming. Yeah. And this is the obstacle. They know you. They owe you an apology. Right. Because they got you fighting. You know what I'm saying? You know, fighting off, uh, all kind of, um, you know, well, not that, not with that one, but with the seven of rods, yeah, fighting, having you fight off competition and everything. You probably dealing with bitches or, or dudes calling your phone, acting a fool and everything, you know what I'm saying? And they lying, trying to hide the truth that they got multiple players. I mean, they being a player and they got multiple people that they dealing with, right? But spirit is in control now, so you're safe, so relax. Yeah, spirit stepped in because they acting a fool. This emperor. I can't even make it up, y'all. Capricorn, sound off. Sound off. Please sound off. <laughs> let me let 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 real love tarot uh viewers know what's going on in the um in the comment field below. Ciao. This is ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. The spirit is saying this is destiny. Yeah, that's why spirit stepped in. There ain't the spirit is in control. This is destiny and spirit is in is in control, right? To either save this marriage with your soulmate, you see what I'm saying? And bring the attraction back, right? With this attraction card, right? And and have this emperor wake the damn hell up because you are lovable and you deserve proper love. You don't deserve to be going through this type of shit. Thank you. Initials A, first, middle, last, yours are theirs, y'all. Some of y'all people be getting on my nerve. <laughs> And unless I said nerve would it be, <laughs> yeah, but they got the nerve to be stalking and spying on you. Mm -hmm. and, it, and not only that, it could be one of these, uh, these suitors that's stalking and spying too. I'm just saying your person, I, the energy that I feel is that your person got a lot going on in the background that you do not know about, mm -hmm. but they need to tell the truth. They definitely need the truth to come out. Yeah, because we're, yeah, and they definitely need to give you an apology. Let me just put these to the side. Yeah, from their manipulative ways. Yeah, child, somebody need to come and tell the damn truth. You know what I'm saying? And and get some act right. Didn't the truth come out? I saw it. It's not being childish as hell, right? <laughs> Talk about they want a happy home. Where? where with your manipulative ass and they want to come knocking on the door be careful when this person come in okay because you're dealing with a liar yeah lying lying and hiding the truth a cheat you're dealing with a whole cheat right here yeah you deserve better and spirit is saying you are lovable do not have to take mess from this person right I'm not telling you not to take your baby back, but I'm just saying, yeah. Didn't I tell y'all, listen, cheating with multiple people or maybe with somebody you know, I can't even make this up with the seven of cups sitting right here in everybody's face. If that ain't cheating for your ass, I don't know what is. <laughs> if that ain't cheating for your ass, Capricorns, listen. Yeah, initials G, first, middle, last, yours are theirs, child. Who? what is, yeah. You could be dealing with the Virgo and yeah, and children are a factor, listen. Listen, didn't it say that uh, healing family issues could be a situation too? So healing family issues is, could have affected the children or somebody went out and had a kid by one of these seven people that they dealing with. Who knows how many people it is? 
I'm just saying, y'all. Yeah, and embarrassed about their past behavior. How you embarrassed now? Mm -hmm. Was you embarrassed when you was doing the damn thing? Chow, cappies. Yeah, now they're scared, scared shitless that they're going to lose you and be in poverty because a lot of you guys kept everything going too in this connection, right? Because we got pinnacles, we got the page of pinnacles, we got the third pinnacles or whatever working together and everything. But if they if they lose this connection, this is what's going to happen. They're going to lack finances and bad health and, and be homeless because you're about to put their ass out. Yeah, but they lessen over you and this connection. Initials H, I mean, people just be doing the most and then be thinking, like, what was you thinking? What was you thinking? What you think was going to happen? Initials O, any more messages, spirit? Yeah, that this is a missed opportunity because some of y'all really slamming the dough. Could be dealing with a Taurus. Yeah, and Spirit seeing that right now that they ask be where they at. Woo! Capricorn sound off because this sound like some bullshit. <laughs> I'm just keeping it a book, okay? I'm not going to lie to you. And yet clearly y'all see Spirit ain't either. Y'all child, y'all emperor is acting a damn fool. Listen, and the fact that this is destiny is your soulmate, child. But this person just has committal issues, and it could be stemming from you know them not healing their childhood traumas. So, you, a lot, you know, I always have to give the hood version of the reading and then the like the spiritual and the real, you know, loving part of the reading, right. <laughs> It's my it's my job, you know, as your reader. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I'm gonna just keep it a buck. Some of you guys are dealing with somebody who's acting out in this way because of their childhood traumas that they never, you know what I'm saying? Uh they never fix or whatever. I'm not trying to say that they're right, they're not right at all or whatever. People get into relationships before they heal and don't even realize that they needed to heal in the first place. Yeah, you are in separation. That was flipped over. I just saw it. Yeah, you guys are in separation. So some of y'all already put this person the fuck out. Because they can't get their shit together. And I'm not mad at you. It's like, because like you, you is clearly showing. Four of Cups came out twice. And the sun is in a damn reverse. You depressed as hell. This person had you in, in full-blown depression. Because they out here slinging dick and pussy everywhere. Excuse me, Lord. I just had to say it how I was thinking it. <laughs> I'm sorry. But that's what they was doing. I'm just telling you what God's love. Let's get some angel oracle messages. Yeah. Ooh, look at spirit flipping them. Spirit said you need to let go. Yep. And trust. Mm -hmm. Let go of all this drama. Trust the process. And the situation will improve, right? Yeah, and that's very possible because this 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 emperor is the hangman came before the emperor. So this this emperor is trying to sacrifice something, right? To come over these obstacles or whatever and start working together as a ten, as a uh, as a team, right? With the t with the three of pentacles and work as a teamwork with you so that you guys can get the nine of cups, be in the nine of cups energy. Mm hmm. Somebody's had some type of aha moment or whatever, right? Yeah, somebody wants the material wealth and the abundance and everything. It's not that they don't want this relationship. They just don't know how to keep their dick in their pants or they, you know, keep their dress down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And not constantly lifting it over their ass. I'm just saying, child. Or whatever. You could be dealing with a young fire sign too. Doesn't have to be. But that's the energy um, that I'm getting as well. Uh huh. Emperor. Aries energy. Yeah, Spirit is saying, don't stop. Whatever you do, don't stop. And there will be a peaceful resolution to this situation. Okay, yeah. And then that, yeah, and that's double confirmation because before that, it said, Spirit did say that the situation will improve. Okay. All right. Capricorns, that's all I have for you, babies. Thank you guys for tuning in to Real Love Tarot. I truly appreciate you guys. Make sure to hit the like, share, subscribe button as you guys pile in to watch this video. Help circulate the video to other Capricorns out there who's looking for this reading. As well as if you want a personal reading with me, you could do so um, via uh, realloftarotbyrenee.com. Um, that link is in my description box below. As well as you guys could donate to Super Chat and or uh, to um, my cash app, and that's in the description box below as well. All right, love bucks. Talk to you guys next time, Capricorns. Bye.